Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make this hair bow. It has four loops and two tails. And this particular one I am actually going to be putting on a tutu. I get this question all the time on how I make the bows that I put on my tutu. This is a popular bow that I like to add to my tutus because it's nice and full and it just gives the tutus a lot of character. So. This is the one, this is the go-to bow that I usually like to do for my tutu. So this one is not on a clip because I'm adding this one to a tutu. So this is a tutorial on how to make this particular bow. You can make it and add a clip for the hair or whatever you guys choose. You can do it for, you know, a tutu or whatever. But there you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. So the material that you're going to need to make this particular bow is you're going to, this is 1.5 inch ribbon. I believe it's three and a half feet. Let me see. One, two, three and a half. Yes. It is three and a half feet. So, and it's 1.5 inches. Uh, you're also going to need a ruler and you're going to need about two to three inches. I'd say probably just get yourself three inches of um, three eighths of an inch wide ribbon uh, right here. You're going to need a lighter to heat seal your ends, a pair of sharp fabric scissors and also you're going to need a needle with embroidery floss. So let's get started on making this bow. I also forgot to mention that you're going to need a glue gun as well and you, I usually use the high temperature because it, it holds better. Get the high temperature with the multi temperature glue sticks. I always find that those work best and I always have the hardest time taking a bow apart if I need to fix something because it is extremely strong. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is, let's see if I can do this around the camera, sorry. I wanted the camera to be in front of me instead of on the other side, but we'll see if I can do this. Um, so anyway, what you're going to do is you're going to get one end like this, and we're going to start making some loops. So go ahead and take an end like this, have it lay out straight across like that, pick up this end and just hold it over like this and then loop it like that so that way you get your first loop and then I might need to make that a little bit bigger try to make it about this size if you can then get this end like this and loop it over like that kind of like just as if you're folding it in half like this but make but twist it to make a, a loop just like that and then try to make both the loops even if you can try to make them there. So those look to be about even. Then you're going to take this end and you're going to fold it under just like this and try to make, fold it under so that it goes kind of like parallel with this, just like that. Kind of up more upward right here. Just like that and try to make the loop even with this one over here and then take this one and fold it down just like this. And that way, these loops are even, and these loops are even. Just like that. And then the tails, obviously, just hang like that. So, now what we're going to do is, you can either get um, a salon clip, and clip it right here, or any kind of clip, and clip it, and then hand sew it down, which is how I see some people do it, but I'm never able to do it that way. So, what I do is I just flip it over. This is the back. This is the front. So I flip it over and I'm going to do the accordion fold. So let me see if I can do this really close to camera. So you're going to take this piece right here, fold it over like that, and then you're going to fold it back, and then this part here you're going to fold it over like this. Kind of like a zigzag. So there you go. So this is going to look like this on the front, and then it's going to look like this on the back. So that is the accordion fold. Now we're going to get our needle with, sorry if I keep bumping the camera guys. We're going to get our needle with the embroidery floss and we're going to, right here on the top, try not to get your finger obviously, we're going to slip it in, as then we're trying to get the center bow, try to get as close to the center as you can of the bow from slip the ends right here, that is close to the center. This, you're going to slip it in just like that. So it's going to look like this. Pull. Be sure to mention this. And then tie it all the way through the end of your... I forgot. Be sure to... So pull it on until it hits the embroidery floss. 
and I just all the way through, wrap it around the knot at least once, and then it's like to usually just do once or twice. I, and you don't need a once too tight. I like to pull it tight, but like comfortably tight. Pull it to, and then what you tight to do is you're going to really slip, you're going to little, going to under through there. Then you pull it through a little bit until you have like a there. Sorry. And then put the loop, needle through the loop and then pull it tight and then do it one one or two more times. I usually just do it one more time. There you go. Now cut off the excess floss just like that. And you may set your needle aside. Now before you go any further, it's going to look like this after you tie it off. Now what I like to do is, since this is the front, the back is where the ends of the ribbon are facing, that they're facing towards the back. So what I do is that I come to the back and I kind of push them open, just like that. So that make it a little more flat and a little make the the bow look a little more full to where the ends want to stick like straight straight up just like that and that way your bow is going to look like this now you can already cut the end of your ribbon at the beginning but I usually like to wait until the end of this particular bow because I like to see how much ribbon I have excess. I don't want to have, you know, this one is a little bit longer than this one. I usually get it pretty close so it's, you know, this seems normal to me that where it's like a little bit off. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut in a slanted position. So this one seems to be off by maybe about mm, maybe one third of an inch or so. So I'm going so uh, I guess I'll cut this side first. So what I do is I, on, on the point right here, I take the scissors and I cut diagonally up and I leave the point facing down. So, or you can do it the other way where you can cut from this, this over here, this end up. But I like to do it like this. It just makes the bow look a little bit bigger. So now I'm going to do the same thing over here, but instead of coming at the corner, since this end was a little bit longer, I'm going to go up a little bit instead of at the direct corner and then I'm going to cut just to make them look more even so that way they are more they look just, they just look more even okay so now after you do that you're going to get your lighter and the air is nice and so hopefully you feel this flame not blowing all over the place and you're just going to heat seal the end so just long for two there it's like run the lighter off the edge don't hold it fire too long don't most of the time you don't want the the ribbon to catch which this all it doesn't. It's just um bigger light, but you just need to do it. The end. And it will run along. Prevent it from that way. It will leave a seal prevent it from fraying. From fraying. Like that is the finish to prevent. Oh, bow is finished now. So now we are going to bow. take out the bow. Also now we're to take uh, our our <laughs> what's it called? Seven white ribbon. I'm gonna put down the center. Creates also ribbon that attach this center. You can any kind of clip or anything. So if to attach it to a clip, I'll leave the link clip. How you're gonna tell how I line my alligator to have and also how I line my line spreads. A clip. I don't think I have so example of a French. My friend and you were here. No, I don't have a uh, spread here. But anyway, uh, I'll put I'll just put um, so those videos in the description down below uh, so you guys can put the link to line them in the description. But after you oh. line them, if you choose to learn how to line them, after you line them, line go ahead and glue line it to the back and then. And then go add the width or centerpiece. But since then this is gonna go on a two that I had made. This I am going to just attach this because I'm going to sew this bow onto the tutu. So uh, say like you have your clip, pretend like your clip's already here. You're just going to like with your clip, you're just going to open up the clip like this and glue it on the inside, wrap it around and glue it on the inside as well, and then close the clip. So don't don't glue the clip closed. Have it open as you're gluing it on. That way it does not um, it does not glue your clip shut. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is since this is the back of the bow. I'm going to add a little dot of glue right there. Excuse my glue gun. Ooh. I never have my glue gun laying down, guys. So 
anyway, so then you just place the end of this ribbon right there and then you just wrap it around. You can do it super tight, you can do it, I just do it comfortably tight, I don't do it extremely tight. And as I'm wrapping it around, I like to tug at the, the ends of the ribbons to make it so that it's not laying flat again. And since this one's a little bit longer, I'm going to, oh no, also don't forget to heat seal the ends, which I had already done by the way. I'm going to cut off any extra that I have and I'm going to heat seal that end right there. So again, just get your lighter. And then I'm going to get the glue gun and I'm going to add glue right in there. Be very careful, glue guns are hot, so don't burn yourself. And then I'm just going to press it flat. Just like that. And then wait a few seconds for it to, to set and for it to dry. And I like the high temperature because it dries really quickly and once it's dry, like it's like I always have the hardest time taking it apart. Like say if I mess up, I usually have to start all over again because I, there is no possible way for me to get this thing apart <laughs> without messing the whole bow up. So there you go. That's the centerpiece. You can glue a clip on after you wrap the center if you choose, um, but I find it leaves it the clip more secure to the bow if you wrap the center with the clip. But that's up to you. So if, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or concerns, you can leave a comment down below or send me a message on my fan page and I can, I'll can be glad to answer it or help you out in any way. Uh, so there you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this bow tutorial and I'll see you guys for the next one.